we are back again. We had probably two and a half to three hours worth of runtime on the cell after it had been disassembled, sandblasted, and reassembled. Uh, this time we did get a little bit of corrosion inside of the cell. I don't know if this is due to sandblasting the plates or if it's because of the foam that I'm using to seal the edges of the plates. The plates themselves don't really look that bad. They appear to be in pretty good condition. Nothing seems to be corroding or overheating. Uh, I've got it in a somewhat weaker solution now. We're going to hook it up and let it run for a little while and see how it does. I plugged the cell in. I had it in for, plugged in maybe 30 seconds, not long at all, just long enough to make sure it's producing and look at my amperage. Uh, I wanted you to be able to see whenever I plug it in, how quickly it starts generating. Now it's generating that fast with our battery charger on its lowest setting. We're at two amps and according to the ammeter that's on the charger, it's pulling about four amps according to that meter. And we've just got all kind of flow. This container has just under half a gallon of water in it and I have got two spoonfuls of KOH mixed in. As you can see we're getting good output. Now if we go up to a higher amperage setting on our battery charger, that's going to 10 amps and you can see the it immediately picks up, it immediately starts producing more gas. The meter on our charger is only at about 6 amps. And if we go up to the high setting on our charger, if we go all the way up to 50 amps on our charger, it just starts producing a lot. And according to our ammeter, we are only pulling about 8 amps of current. But we'll drop back down to our, one of our lower settings. I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the video, but there is just a small amount of steam coming off when it was at the 50 amp setting. But we are just going to let this sit here and cook for a little while and see how much heat we start putting off and see how it does. We've been running for about 30 minutes. We're still, we've gone up about half an amp on our amperage. Still at our low setting, two amps. We've still got pretty good output. Uh, the temperature outside is about 75, maybe 78 degrees. Temperature of our water is 83. Not bad at all. Now a problem that I had with this cell before I had taken it apart and rebuilt it was the connections on the top. Looks like they had got hot and melted. And I've been looking at the temperatures, 82, 86. So the temperatures here are still relatively low. I'm hoping at some point before I just had a bad connection on them, and that connection was just introducing resistance and, and heat into it. But just for giggles, we can see how good our output is. We're getting, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the video, getting just a touch of steam. Not much steam at all, but just a little bit. We'll go up to our 10 amp setting for just a moment, just to see how much more we put out. I don't know how much you can tell on the video, but it, it is. It's, it's putting out considerably more at 10 amps. 
the way we're hooked up right now, our positive is going to the outside of the plates, our outermost plates, and negative is at the innermost plates. If we pull it out a little bit, maybe you can see better. The two outside plates on both ends have a negative charge and the two plates in the center have a positive charge. I'm sorry, that's backwards. The two plates on the outside are positive and the two plates on the middle are negative right now. And as soon as you drop it in, you can see it just pouring off of those two negative plates in the center. When I had it at the higher setting, the 50 amp setting earlier, there was some there are some bubbles coming off of the neutral plates in between but the vast majority of the bubbles are coming off of the, the center two electrodes, the center two plates and actually after it sat there and was turned up for a minute you can see that there is gas coming out from between each of those plates but it is primarily from the center right there that is with our charger at its highest setting chargers at 50 amps and according to the gauge we are just under 10 amps of current and it's just bubbling away and in it minute or so the temperature has gone up slightly with it turned up at 50 amps but that's to be expected the more power you put into it the more heat you're going to get out I think we're going to run this cell like this for a little while just to see if it starts putting off corrosion again or to see if it cleans up and if it cleans up we're probably going to put it back together and go ahead and put this one back in the vehicle and start tracking our mileage again playing with the torch and trying to blow stuff up that, that's fun but let's try and get something of value back out of it again and that's it for this time we'll see you next time